This is a C2 video looking at covalent bonding. This is simple covalent bonding, okay? Not the larger um, giant covalent bonding where we look at diamond and graphite, that'll be in another video. This is just our simple, small molecules. We call it simple covalent bonding. We really mean that there's only a few atoms involved. And this involves non-metals only, okay? So there are several examples that you have to know, and those are the ones that I'm going to go through. So hydrogen, first of all. Now, this is about sharing electrons. So when we looked at ionic bonding, that was about um, giving and taking um, electrons. This is about sharing electrons, okay? So we're looking at hydrogen first. We've got a dot and cross diagram. So hydrogen has one electron in the outer shell, and that can be represented for the um, atom on the left as the cross. That's its one electron. And then the hydrogen atom on the right has its one electron represented as a dot. And it's a case of where the shells cross over, they can share those electrons. So two electrons in the outer shell makes it that full outer shell of electrons for hydrogen because it's only got one shell. Underneath we've got a stick diagram, okay, one line representing a single bond because they're each only sharing one electron. And then we've got H2 as the formula. So using that idea, let's look at chlorine now. With covalent bonding, we only tend to draw the outer shells of electron because it just makes it a lot clearer to see. Um, with the ionic bonding, where you lose an electron from the outer shell, you go down to the next shell, so it makes sense to draw all the shells. But here we just look at the outer shells. Now, chlorine is in group 7, so 7 electrons in the outer shell. Again, if we look at the um, atom on the left, we've got the 7 electrons represented as 7 crosses for chlorine. And then the atom on the right, we have seven dots representing the seven electrons in the outer shell of that atom. And then we can see where they've crossed over, or where the two shells meet. There's a sharing of one cross, one dot, both electrons. Um, and that is represented, again, as a single bond in the uh, stick diagram. And that's Cl2. Okay, so now we're looking at oxygen. Oxygen being in group six, so six electrons in the outer shell of electrons. Um, and we've got the atom on the left represented with six electrons as six crosses, and the atom on the right represented as six dots um, as the six electrons in the outer shell of that atom. So here we've got a sharing of two electrons from each atom. So in the center there, we've got cross dot, cross dot, and that's represented as a double bond, okay? So there's two pairs of electrons being shared there to complete each outer shell of electrons up to eight, and we write that as O2. And you can probably see where the next one's going. So we're looking at nitrogen next. Nitrogen is in group five, and group five has five electrons in the outer shell. So lacking or short of three electrons, so each nitrogen atom is going to share three electrons here, creating a triple bond, okay? In the center, it's really hard to draw this one, and you may have to draw it, okay? In the center, we've got cross dot, cross dot, cross dot, okay? Sometimes easier to draw those on and then draw your um, shells over the top so that it's really, really clear. Um, you know, try and use as much of the paper as possible to, to show that you've got those dots and crosses very clearly shown. So when we follow around just one of those shells, we can see it adds up to eight, so creating that full outer shell of electrons. Hydrogen chloride next, okay, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of chlorine. Good one to show um, that hydrogen is much smaller than chlorine, because obviously we've got that, um, those other shells of, of chlorine, two more shells um, of electrons underneath that outer shell in chlorine. Um, and the hydrogen shares one, creating its full outer shell of two electrons because it's so small. And chlorine had seven, being in group seven, and shared another one uh, with the hydrogen. So single bond here, HCl. Water. Again, oxygen, group six. Hopefully these are starting to, to show some patterns. Oxygen being in group six is lacking two electrons and um, two hydrogens help out with that, each one being able to share one electron. So if we count around the, one of those hydrogen outer shells, we can see there are two, making a full outer shell, 
and around the oxygen, you've got the six original electrons and then two extras making it up to eight. And you can see the stick diode around there and we describe that as H2O. We've got two left. We've got ammonia next, nitrogen in group five. Okay, five electrons in its outer shell, lacking three. So three hydrogens, each with the ability to offer one electron up for sharing, um, will help support the nitrogen. And you can see um, each hydrogen there sharing one, taking that nitrogen outer shell up to eight. Stick diagram there as well. Use the stick diagrams a lot more when you're doing organic chemistry in paper two, and that's NH3. And then the last one, methane, comes out of the gas taps. Okay, carbon, which we haven't come across yet in this video. Uh, carbon uses, uh, has four electrons in its outer shell being in group four. So four hydrogens help out each sharing one electron with the carbons, okay? We can't quite see the end of that diagram, so let's just pull that out a bit. Okay, there's the stick diagram. Carbon now has... Um, Eight electrons in its outer shell, so that's nice and stable, full outer shell. Um, and each hydrogen has two electrons in its outer shell, and we call that CH4. Hope you found that useful. Thank you.